We're going to be goat hoof trimming today. I think it's fun to trim goat hooves. The main thing is you just don't want to cut to the quick. It's better to cut uh, too little than too much. So when you're working with a hoof that's kind of overgrown, you're going to work it back. Because every time you trim it, the quick will go a little deeper. And so that's just what you do. You don't, don't, you're not going to be able to bite off everything at one time and get that hoof perfectly uh, squared, but you are going to get it in steps back to where it's supposed to be. You're going to need a pair of these little goat hoof trimmers and a nail file. Sharpen them up just a bit. Do put a, put a nice little edge on there. I don't have a stanchion. A lot of people use those. I use uh, what I call my Hunswick door. <laughs> I'll show you that right here. This is a neat little door that when I lived overseas among a Germanic people down in South America, they've been there almost 200 years. Uh, it's a real simple door. You can see uh, how it's, uh, it's done. It's done in slats. Now you can do any type of slats you want. I used one by sixes across here because that's what I had. All right, we're on the back side of our little, our little slide gate that I was showing you. Uh, like I said, just got two by fours in between the slats that holds the slats, gives them a guide, and, uh, and then it just slides into the same, same setup over here. And that's just kind of the way I make my stall gates. You can see they are in sore need and trimming of the dew claws here. I'm gonna trim. Trim the dew claws off just a little bit. <laughs> yeah, uh, hoof trimming's gnarly business. I mean, that's just the way it is. Okay, that's pretty good. Just what I'm trying to do here. Just take those dew claws down a little bit without making them bleed. You can see the really starting to expose the quick there. And uh, so that's good. Now, now we have this. I don't have my little tool, but I'm gonna reach in here. You can see this is just really overgrown. So you're trying to just straighten it out a little bit to get that hoof parallel. This is all just extra growth here. And you can see how it's still uh, just over overgrown. A lot of times this side didn't do it, but it'll it'll roll under and kind of start growing back. This is really not as not as bad as I thought it was. Doing the doing the dance there. Right here is a little pad that grows and you're just trying to level this out a little bit too. That's it. And again, it's been a while since these were done. And nobody's fault but my own, but it's springtime now. It's time to do something. Yeah, you can see she's defecating. She didn't like it. That's part of it too. This side's got some hoof rock going on. But it's going to take care of all this excess. And then get that foot pad where it's a little flatter.
what that is, that white right there, little hoof rot. And we've got it down to, to that point right there. I can take just a little bit off on this side. Pretty nice, what you're looking at right there compared to what it was. Come on, come on, come on. She's kind of had all she wants. But, other than cutting it a little quick right there, and that's just very slight, uh, should be alright. When I'm doing this kind of stuff, I don't want her to kick me, but I just do a little bit of, it's a, it's a, it's called Scarlex oil, Scarlet oil, but uh, it just is an antiseptic, a germicidal, and a fungicidal. And uh, since she had a little bit of that, and that just any type of problem that uh, any type of hoof rot and that sort of thing that'll just help yeah well that's it for the back legs once you have regular maintenance going it's really not a problem uh, if you trim them every say three or four months something like that they'll they'll be just fine this is about the most rodeoing we do here. So I'm gonna go over right here.